Whenever the sheriff rings the bell in his hand, everyone has to go home and lock the doors and windows. Even a half-eaten meal in a restaurant will be thrown out by the waiter. But this man was drunk out of his mind at the critical moment. She waited until dark, but her husband didn't come home. Although the woman was angry, she could only go inside and close the doors and windows. At that moment, the little girl, who was alone in her bedroom, heard a noise coming from outside the window. She lifted the curtains and saw that it was an old granny. The grandmother said she was lonely outside and wanted the girl to let her in. The little girl had no sense of crisis and didn't realize it was the second floor. When the mother realized it, it was already too late. The next morning, the man found many people gathered in front of his house. He thought it was some kind of a party. Who knows the sheriff came up and slapped him hard, then dragged the man to the second floor and warned him that if he is a man he should protect his family. Look at how you protected. At this time, the wife and daughter has fallen in a pool of blood and all have been hollowed out by the monster internal organs. The sheriff was so angry that he took out his pistol and wanted to shoot him, but he couldn't do it anyway, so he ordered his men to lock up the man. That's the cruelest punishment in the whole town. You don't think it wasn't cruel, only the man knew it was a death sentence. But rules are rules, and when a man makes a mistake, he must be punished. By that time night falls, there's a crowd outside the tin house. The man was trembling with fear because he knew they were all monsters. What's worse, the monsters were transformed into the man's dead wife and daughter. The man knelt down and prayed, but the monsters didn't let him go. That's the end of the story. We'll see you next time.